Hey, what is going on guys? It's Tharshay and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're back with another update video on our Season 13 Rebuilding Glory campaign in Lord of the Rings Rise to War. So if you guys do enjoy this video then please do drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn post notifications. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to have a look at is the season map. And we're just going to talk about, you know, what's been happening as well as the politics that have, you know, been going back and forth. So if you look at the season map, we can see that the Alliance of Gondor along with Isengard, the Varigs and Mordor are doing pretty well. We're actually surrounded the ring. There's a whole bunch of big red weapons up by Erebor who were meant to be the biggest, baddest team, uh, you know, this season that we're going up against. And yeah, we're, we're doing pretty well on that front. The other front, there's obviously a big war pin against Linden. And then you can see there's some pins over by Gundabad and Angmar. So yeah, first we're going to go have a look at the pins up top and talk about the situation over there. So what basically happened or what I was informed happened. And mind you, this information is coming from uh, Rohan slash Linden players. So if someone from Arnor could, you know, reach out, let me know their side of the story that would be great but so far what i've been told by rohan and linden is arnor wanted to get you know uh, like three capitals or whatever they need for rewards and i mean i don't know how <laughs> the enemy alliance was planning on splitting rewards for all of them because there was like five of them so there's literally no way that all of them could get rewards but yeah anyway arnor decided that they need rewards and so they turned on Rohan and Lothlorien and uh, Linden. So that's the story that I've been told by Rohan and Linden players. If someone from Arnold, you know, can reach out to me and let me know what their side is, that would be great. But as you can see, the results from what has happened is Linden have taken their capital. I mean, yeah, Linden have taken the capital of Phenomenas, their territories over there. Rohan's taken a piece. Angmar has a little bit... Um, Arno did have Engmar's capital of Khandum, but it's been lost to Rohan now, while Lothlorien has taken the Gundabad capital. And that's because neither neither team were able to defend their own capitals, uh, which was Edoras, which was right next to us, which obviously we came and took, as well as Caris Galadon, which is uh, Lothlorien's capital that we also took. So if we have a look at the Warpens, there's still a few Warpens here, not too big, but this is between... Angmar and Arnor, 530k participants, 130k deaths. So it uh, seems, wait, is Angmar also fighting Arnor? Are they just trying to go to their capital regardless of who owns it? I don't know. And then we have another pin here, 670k participants with 210k deaths. And that is between Arnor and Rohan, Emperor and Mustang. Over here at Etinmos, there's another pin. This is between w -K -O -A from Angmar, Emperor and Mustang. That is 288k participants, 88,000 deaths. Now over here on the western flank, so what's basically been happening is my fellowship uh, ring, we were, well, our our orders were basically to keep Linden away from the ring or any of our capitals. Obviously, we don't want them there causing problems, trying to mess up our season rewards. So we basically spent the last week, I would say, just in a slog fest up and down fight with Linden. And we all just here yeah, trying to, you know, slow them down and keep them back. So that's pretty much been our mission, you know, to keep them away from the delicate areas like Dol Guldor. We don't want them over there trying to steal the ring from us or any of our capitals that we have like Orthanc or Edoras, etc. If we have a look at the Warpenia, it's a bit small at the moment. It was about eight to 10 million uh, yesterday or the day before. But at the moment, it's 4.9 million participants, 1.2 million deaths. It's between Aeon from Linden, Ring, my fellowship, some Lion from both Gondor and Linden. So that is that pin there. Now, if we go over to the middle of the map, um, obviously, Isengard went and switched sides. So when I say switch sides, I mean they move from the west of the map to the east of the map. So they're over here along with the Variags and Mordor. Uh, Isengard have a capital finally. So they have Kindland, which was... Rune's capital, but Rune has got no players, so it's a dead faction. Doesn't really matter. And there's a couple of big weapons, so there's crossing leading into Erebor's lands, or, well, it technically should be Lot lands, but Erebor has it. Uh, Woodland Realm, there's 7.6 million participants, 2.4 million deaths. It's between Lion, Rogu, Iron, 
There's some ring over there. I'm not sure why some ring players are there. We need all of them here by Linden, but it's fine. Then there's some Arda and some Infair as well. Over here by the other crossing area, there is a 1.3 million pin with 420,000 participants. That is between deaths from Isengard, Rogus, S Spore, and Iron from uh, Erebor. Then there's another pin below that. This is again between Rogu uh, from Erebor, Dest from Isengard, and SUSD and Gods from the Varugs as well as Iron. 1 million participants, 360,000 deaths. Over by East Bight, there's a nice big red pin here. This is between Lothlorien, so Arda, and against Isengard and Mordor. So Mord from Mordor and Destroy from Isengard. 2.4 million participants, 673,000 deaths over there. Over at Dol Guldor, so we are currently clearing the area of the Rohan forts, so we can set up our own forts around there and, you know, then take over ourselves. So this is Ring, uh, Mustang and Lion, 300k participants, 70k deaths, basically. Another small weapon over here, 604k participants, 136,000 deaths between Lion, Mustang and SUSD. So that is pretty much the season map. I'll zoom out so you guys can have a look at the whole thing. And yeah. Let's go over to the season progress next. So if we look at season progress, uh, we still, we haven't done this. Any faction occupies five faction, fac, uh, five faction capitals in total, including Dol Guldor. I don't know. I think it just timed. Oh yeah, that's why it timed out with us having two only. Right now we are at three capitals. Yeah, we're at three capitals plus Dol Guldor would be four, I believe. So uh, yeah, that did time out. But anyway, targets. So if we look at target, I've got rings, power, discipline, rapid development, develop and expand, all of those personal stuff are done. Uh, control, we're obviously trying to get the top of Renown Conqueror. Regional control, uh, 4 out of 12, Occupy, Doggle Door, and we haven't done yet, but we'll probably get that. Over at teamwork though, so this is the important part. I'm number 52 in contribution. So yeah, I'm, I'm just, how far am I off 50? That's the question. So I'm about 800-ish off 50, unfortunately, but I, I want to try to get there if I can, to the top 50, that is, because you also get 100 more uh, rewards, season rewards, so that's pretty nice. But if we go over to leaderboard, let's go and have a look at the fellowship production. So in the number one spot, we have Lion from Gondor with 2.2 million power. Two, we have Aeon from Ninjin with 1.8 million power. Three, we have Emperor from Arno with 1.2 million power. Four, we have Ring, my fellowship from Gondor with 1 million power. Five, we have Arda from Nathlorien with a million power. Six, we have Dest from Isengard with 983k. Seven is Rogu from Erebor with 970k. Eight is SUSD from the Varys with 928k. Nine is Mustang from Rohan with 873k. And 10 is Mord, the Horde from Mordor with 786,000 power. Over at development level, at number one, we have Gondor at 138. 2 is Linden at 76, 3 is Erobo at 44, 4 is the Variks at 32, 5 is Lotlorien at 29, 6 is Mordor at 26, and Mordor actually have done better development than quite a few other factions, which is kind of funny, but 7 is Isengard at 17, 8 is Rohan at 14, 9 is Arno at 11, and 10 is the Witch King of Angmar at 7, and I don't understand Rohan, okay fine, they kind of lost lands a bit earlier, but still, Rohan and Arno, considering their full factions, I don't know why they're that low on the development level but yeah that is how it is so i hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you did please do drop a like comment and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video Peace.